Hi, everyone. So I'm Andres Aguiar. I'm a product manager at Okta, and I'm a maintainer on the OpenFGA project. Uh, OpenFGA is an authorization system for developers. It's based on a concept called relationship-based access control, and it's inspired some ideas published by Google in a paper where they describe a system called Google Zanzibar, which is how they implement authorization internally for all of their products. And we package some of those ideas in a server plus tooling to make it simple for implement to any application. It's currently a CNCF sandbox project. We've been there for two years. We apply for incubation early this year, and, uh, and it's mainly maintained by employees of Okta and Grafana, and of course, we're welcome to more companies that want to contribute. We are number five in the list of CNCF projects based on commit in the last 30 days. I checked this before coming here, and it's awesome. So I wanted to introduce quickly how OpenFGA works and how relationship-based access control works. You, end up, you start by defining what we call an authorization model, where you declare the entities that are relevant when making authorization decisions. In this case, it's a very simple multi-tenant role-based access control. You have your tenants, which will be organizations, admins, and members. And then the permissions depend on the roles that user has. If a member is a member, they can do different things. You can then instantiate that model with the data that is in the form of relationship tuples. In this case, we're saying that Marie is a member of the organization on the ACME organization, and Anne is an admin of the ACME organization. And then, using in this case the Golang SDK, we have SDKs from multiple platforms, you can first write those tuples to the database, and you call FGA, and FGA supports different database storage and technologies. And when you want to know if a user can perform an action on a resource, like Marie can edit a specific organization, you call the check API. Okay, so write to write the data, check to perform an authorization check. Now, that was a very simple uh, multi-tenant uh, role-based access control. But the th interesting thing about relationship-based access control is you can start introducing all the entities, all the types that you care in your application when making authorization decisions. In a simple document management app, in this case, will be a folder and a document. So we don't stop at role-based access control. We can go to any resource and define fine-grained access policies for every resource in your app. In this case, we're defining a hierarchy of resources. So folders belong to an organization, and folders and documents can be nested. And we can define roles at every resource type. We are saying, for example, you can be an editor in a folder if you're the admin from the organization that owns that folder. Okay, so you can create very complex uh, authorization policies that traverse the hierarchy and, and, inst and resolve those questions following the graph. So how is OpenFGM being used? This list of logos is from our adopters MD file. So some of these are, these are the companies that are publicly saying they are using OpenFGA. Canonical is using it in several different parts of their Ubuntu stack. So if you're using Ubuntu, it's likely that you're running OpenFGA. Docker uses to power authorization in Docker Hub. This is the OpenFGA page in Docker Hub that is showing how they use OpenFGA for authorization in the same application. And Zuplo is an API gateway. They use OpenFGA to define permissions for HAH API key, so which services and which environments they can access. Stacklog has a supply chain solution called Minder that is open source. They have a CLI. Each time you grant a role to Minder, you are writing tuples to OpenFGA. Open Observe is a full stack observability platform. They use OpenFGA to, def to decide which streams, logs, or traces can each user see. ReadAI is a copilot application for productivity apps. They use OpenFGA in this case to share their summaries of a specific meeting with different members of the company. So this is OpenFGA. If you want to start implementing or modernizing authorization uh, with OpenFGA, you can go to open, openfga.dev. If you have an open source project and you're thinking of implementing authorization, multi-tenancy, OpenFGA is a great solution. We have multiple open source projects using it. And we're going to be in the CNCF pavilion in the afternoon, in the Wednesday afternoon. So thank you very much. <laughs>